music first, the nocturnal flame, Leo Keegan. And his opponent, Insane Shane. Here we go, welcome to contest Insane Shane getting ready to take on the Nocturnal Flame, Leo Keegan. Brad, you gotta think that Shane's gonna have to stick and move. He's gonna have to use that quickness just like he did right there. I mean, you're definitely looking at Shane, the MMA artist against the brute power of the Nocturnal Flame. It's gonna be an interesting contest tonight. Absolutely, will it be the submission prowess of Insane Shane? And there we go, right there, those four tight kicks, not enough knocking, knocking up the quadriceps muscle, not knocking up Leo Keegan. I'm sure there's a couple of people in the back that wouldn't uh, approve of that either. But as you can see right now, he is using that speed. Absolutely. And Shane's going to have to do that. He cannot get caught by Leo Keegan. Once again, Shane going right after that big red oak, trying to chop it down to size. And he just seems to be angering Keegan at this point. Keegan comes in with a big splash, and just like that, that's the mistake I mentioned. You cannot get caught by the bigger man. No, Michael, and at the beginning of this match, Shane was trying to take away the legs from Leo Keegan. Absolutely, and now Keegan going to slow things down to a crawl. This is the pace he wants it at. Keegan with these repeated back elbows in the corner. And Insane Shane looks to be on Dream Street here in early going. Keegan measuring his man here. But he gets caught coming in. Shane very smart. He's got to get up and capitalize on this though. Once again, uh, the first time we look at it, he can take too much time there. You gotta absolutely think he took too much time playing to the crowd, talking to the crowd here, and it could cost him. Muay Thai clinch and those rapid fire knees to the triangle to center the ring. This thing is deadly here, Michael. This could be it. This very well could be it. Deadly. It's insane, but look at the power of the nocturnal flame. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is where Keegan's got to capitalize on that. Keegan, I'm not sure how much he's got left here after nearly being choked out, center of the ring. Keegan taking his time, and obviously the, the crowd wanting in St. Shane to, uh, to mount some offense right now. Absolutely, but look at the power, the brute strength of the nocturnal flame, but Shane able to land on his feet, but gets taken out right away with the forearm. And you got to ask yourself, how much can Shane take of that? And this has been just a few since the other fell too. And Shane barely able to kick out. And you notice as soon as he kicked out, he went back to a kick and almost took out the knees. A kick it back into the triangle. Quick like a cat. It's when Shane trying to pick up the victory here. He can once again though, going back to the floor on a sit-out power bomb. I just don't know, Michael, how much more Shane can take. I mean, he's got speed and agility, but that power. Exactly. Insane Shane taking a lot of abuse here in our opening contest. Keegan going to go in and hook the left this time. Two count only. Close, Michael. That was really close. But you see the determination, the grip from Insane Shane not giving up. You are all right, but another thing I noticed, each one of these kickouts getting slower and slower as Keegan locking in the cover clutch here. And Insane Shane may be forced to give it up here. As you see, he's trying to create, he's trying to use those elbows, make some separation, and get put right into the forearm. And right back into that deadly cover clutch. I'm taking a page out of Shane's playbook here. Absolutely. How impressive would it be for Leo Keegan to pick up a submission victory over Insane Shane? It would be very impressive. Into the cover, nonchalant cover by the nocturnal flame. And look at that. He didn't hook the leg, and it cost 
them right there. And then you think Shane able to get that foot on the bottom row? Absolutely, Mike, that ring awareness that Shane has probably saving this match. You're right about that, but who can say he's got Shane right through the mat with that choke slam? Shane may be out on his feet and may be academic at this point. 
king had taken a lot of time to get into the cover though. Points the arm. Two. Three. They barely touch it. Which is the tip of his toe. I don't, know where, he's at, I don't know where he gets it. And you hear the frustration from the nocturnal flame here. Keegan has put many a men down with that spear. I mean, it has to frustrate you, Michael, to do what Keegan's done tonight and he can't put him away. You're absolutely right about that. He hit him with his best offensive maneuver and Shane's still able to get that foot on the bottom rope. Keegan could be reloading, thinking another spear here. Shane. Shane trying to get the crowd behind him. Shane trying to get this crowd going here. Shane may not want to turn around. Shane. I mean, Michael, you know what the trouble is. These guys rely on the fans to give them that energy when they're down. You want to let go? Shane catches the coming and right back to the triangle. It looked like he was going for a spear, Michael, and was caught in the triangle. Exactly. Beautiful. And well scattered. And again, running down the elbows, and you're absolutely right, Mary collapses. This could be a Sarah Lane. Leo Keegan has no way to go. I think it could be close, Michael. This is going to be a Leo Keegan. That's one. Two. Once again, Michael, it's over. It's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, 